What is the greatest game of all time? Mario Kart. I think that's undisputed. That's that's fair. Okay. What is the second greatest game of all time? Minecraft? Maybe. That's a good answer. But I think we all know somewhere in our hearts, it's probably the Elder Scrolls Morrowind. It was an absolute journey. And it was the best Elder Scrolls game to date, bar none. I will challenge anyone who says otherwise. Morrowind was perfection. Was it on the original Xbox where I played? Yes. Did I buy it for PC recently? Yes. Do the graphics hold up? Not particularly. I'm sure there's mods, but I don't know how any of that works. But... Morrowind is coming to the Elder Scrolls Online, a game I haven't played in a while, but I really enjoyed. So let's do this together. Episode 0, we're going to make our character get started here, and then Episode 1, we're going to come back hot, fresh, and ready to basically get our character up to a level that when Morrowind actually comes into the game, which I believe is June 6th, we are ready to go. So, gender. Let's be a guy, I guess. Uh, Ebonheart. Uh, Dagger Falls. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. High Eld, Wood Elves, the Nords. I don't know. I've always been a bit of an Ebonheart person. So we're gonna go Ebonheart. Uh, well... I don't know, let's be a Nord. I feel good about Nords, and uh, I've been everything except a Templar. So we're gonna roll with that. And let's go over to body type. Let's be let's be large and muscular, a little chubby. Ooh, that's real fat. Somewhere in the middle there. Yeah, he looks good. Height, let's be weirdly tall. Let's be uh, a little tanner than we are. Oh, it doesn't actually go very dark, that's all right. We'll be a little tan, body marking. Nothing's changing. Ooh, hello. That's a nasty face scar. Torso size. Chest size, let's bump that up. Can't really see too much under the armor. Gut size, you know what? Everyone's got a little baby fat, so you gotta leave a little bit there. Waist size, if you put it too big, you have trouble finding pants. Unless you live in the States, of course. Um, arm size, he's a little buff. I imagine he's carrying around weapons all the time, so you gotta get some sort of arm strength, right? You gotta have a little bit. You need big hands, because you know what they say. It's hard to be good at basketball with small hands. Uh, hips? Let's get some decent hips. Posterior dimensions, I believe that's butt. Does not appear to be butt. I am a fool. Leg size? Uh, let's make him have some beefy legs, that way he can, you know. Foot size, you know what they say. It's harder to find big shoes, so let's make the foot size average. I can attest to that. If you have big feet, it is hard to find nice shoes. Um, head type. Heroic, soft, angular. So angular face is angular. Heroic face. How does that look? Huh. Uh, I mean, angular feels like perhaps it's a bit, a bit of a model vibe, so we'll go halfway between heroic and angular. So we, we, we have the looks of a model, but we're also kind of heroic. Uh, age. Oh, hello. Let's age him up a little bit. You know? He's seen some stuff. Adornment. Uh, we can have an eye patch that doesn't actually cover all of our eye. Oh, we can have a beard. You know what? I've always wanted a dope mustache in real life, so I'm going to give myself a dope mustache. I rarely ever go through character creation actually caring about it, so this is sort of uh, new to me, which is kind of fun. Let's go shaved head. I think you can change that anyway, if I remember correctly. Um, I like dark hair. Ooh. There's a little bit of lag between where I click and when it actually does something, so head marking. Oh, can we just have nothing? <laughs> Uh, forehead slope, uh, yeah, this is the part where I'm like, I don't really care too much about any of that. Voice, I don't have my headphones on. Eye color, ooh, like a light green, I like that. Eye size, didn't change much, did it? Uh, eye angle, eye separation, I mean, come on, his eyes do look a touch close together. <laughs> for my, for my like, um, he's got a good looking nose. Lip fullness, what if we beat this up? Yeah, we're like a little Kylie Jenner here. Lock that in. What do I want for my name? I think we all know what I want. Feel like it's going to be taken, though. Um, let's go 
go sloppy G. Maybe that'll work. You have played through the tutorial with a previous character. You may choose to play it again or skip it. I'm going to play it again because I haven't played this game in a while and I'm a little, little foggy. But this is a game I enjoy heavily. I believe Crane recently got it for PC. My PC won't quite run it, but I, I kind of like it on Xbox. I've always thought the Elder Scrolls played a little bit better on console with a controller. I know you can plug a controller into a PC. I've also never had a PC that can run it, so... Uh, Alright, let's uh, do this here. Open. Yeah, it'd be great if you'd let me out there, champ. It'd be great if you let me out. Thank you. She's a she's a pretty she's a pretty little thing. Locate a weapon. Loot a weapon, right? Get our sprint on. Why are you also looting? Press RT to ready your weapon. Got it. Got it. Defeat the prison guard. Oh, that Elder Scrolls combat. Oh, you can't hold it. Interesting. Can I loot him? Uh, yep, I got this. Bloom, bloom, bloom. Episode 0 is underway, and I'm excited. I'm excited to get going, man. It's been so long since I've played a solid RPG. This is an MMO, too, which is also something I haven't played in a long time. And this is one of my favorites that I've ever played. I like the universe. And I can, you guys have no idea how excited I am to get back into Morrowind. I had so many hours in Morrowind on the Xbox. It was probably my favorite game of all time. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Mario Kart. Hold RT to charge a heavy attack. Awesome. Kind of forgot all of that stuff. Uh... Defeat the prison guards. No problem. Lyris Titanborn. Let's get out of here, my Interesting. Friend. Hello. Greeting, like you, I am a follow Lyris. Where is Lyris? Trying to follow you. Talk to Lyris. Oh, Talk. He's a prisoner here too. It was very dangerous for him to speak with you, even for a moment. He must think you can help me. Help you do what? Break him out, of course. The blind man is only person. Oh, she's a woman, right? The blind man. Oh no, I'm not going to do that. Um, okay, yeah. Where do we go from here? The tunnels will take us. How can we destroy it? I have so many questions. Uh, goodbye. I don't want to interrupt the story, but uh, we need to get going here. I I want to get out in the real world. You know, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm not really nervous. I'm just excited. Defeat. Ooh. Ooh, I forgot how to switch to third person. I like this game a lot more in third person. It's kind of like For Honor, except, uh... I like it. <laughs> oh, slam! Eh, For Honor was okay. Level up. Skills! Uh, Magicka health. Let's put probably Magicka first. Um, skill lines allows you to customize. Yes. Active abilities can be used. Got it, got it. Passive abilities. So, uh, we have a few different things we can do. Yeah. Uh, X. Okay. Rush ceremony just means we can heal. I remember that one. Uh, I'm pretty sure every class has access to it, so. Uh, maybe that's not true. There's also a new class coming with the uh, new DLC called a Warden, which I believe is some sort of court conjurer sorcerer type, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm super curious what they do with the Morrowind DLC. I would love to just have them put in the entire Morrowind part of the world, but anywho, uh, destroy a card, harvest a little bit. Press this to open your map. Yep. Um, and we just need to kill. One of these fellas. There's a lot of people running around here. A lot of people running around here. Boy, this is, uh... Hey, what? 
Did somebody steal my loot from me? You sneaky little... Uh, how do I destroy this? Where's my boo? Where's my boo? There you are. Uh, but how do we destroy one? I don't fully remember how we destroyed this before. Hmm. Hmm. Might as well just start attacking things. Might as well just start attacking things, to be honest with you, because I don't really remember how this is done. Maple Inferno. Is that better than what I have? Let's uh, do a little checky-poo. A little checky-poo. Yep, yep, yep. Got it. Mm-hmm. Hmm. A little less damage. We'll switch to it and see what happens. Blum, blum, blum. I guess we'll just start attacking stuff. Might as well. Where's this other one? There's one there. I think I remember what's happening here. Is it one of the... Now I remember. You go up here. There's, I think, a guy you kill or something. Yeah, okay. This is all coming back to me. This is the Cold Harbor Sentinel. Perform a sneak attack. If I'm really quiet, he won't. <laughs> oh, that was kind of a joke. Uh, okay. Prophet Cell is that way, I guess. Well, that was uh, quite a tutorial. I now know how to sneak and how to attack things. And I've got this uh, staff. Ooh, what kind of player do I want to be? Do I want to be a staff guy or do I want to be a, a sword guy? Interesting, interesting dilemmas. Hello. Fool. You will never escape my realm. Come on now, I go in. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. I should go around. No, probably not. Talk to Lyris. Hello, Lyris. Damn it! Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Who's Caldwell? Caldwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral, but not Cadwell. He was already insane. Mad as a box of frogs. Interesting reference. Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. Um, okay. So let's go find this guy. Blum, 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 blum. He's over here. We have to go around, of course. Hello, Mr. Caldwell. Cadwell, sorry. Boy, you are crazy looking, aren't you? I like your loot, though. Hey, what's this out for a stroll? You must be Codwell. Yes. Sir, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, much more of a scenic route, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasts. Rather cautiously. Ha! Huh. I'm sorry, I'm just skipping sentences as I read, but he's funny. Where is the entrance? Follow the river. You'll find a door to the Undercroft at River's End. Once you're inside, stick to the light and you'll find a ladder that will take you up to the Prophet. Merci. Alrighty, let's go that way, I guess. I'm assuming it's this roundabout. And I am incorrect, but it appears to be some stuff we can loot. Maple Restoration Wand, alright. Some stuff to take to the pawn shop once we're done here. Yeah, it's this thing area. Gosh, this game, you know, the graphics aren't incredible, but some of the places are just too cool. Some of the places are just too cool. Hello, some doors and chests are locked. If you have a lockpick in your inventory, press A. Uh, okay. You get that door open, the sooner we can get out of here. Oh, I just pressed X and it opened. <laughs> cool tutorial, brah. Um well, it opened anyway, so I don't know if that'll move. Um, bum, 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 bum. Cool. Uh, 
Um, where do we want to go here? I guess this way, maybe? Ooh, hello. We can just spam that, actually. That's pretty easy. Uh, which way do we want to go? We're going this direction, apparently. I'm just, like, taking damage. Because I am not a safety-type person. There is nothing there. Find the prophet cell. Is it this way? Maybe. Let's try this way. How far away can I hit this stuff? Pretty far, actually. I'm kind of an archer. An archer with magic. Look at me healing people. Making friends. Well, trying to. She didn't actually say anything to me. That's alright. Am I going to kill that frog? No. That would be rude. Is that going to hurt me? It is going to hurt me. That's alright. Hello, Prophet. It's always a good thing in video games, right? To be called the Prophet. Find the Prophet's cell. The prophet's cage should be just ahead. Shot in the dark. Maybe that's the Prophet in this ball. Am I remembering this correctly? Follow Lyris. Oh, sorry, Lyris. <laughs> Talk to Lyris. All right. Ah, uh, there's a trick to opening this. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take its place. I need to swap places with the prophet. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I like that my guy's like, yeah, all right, kill yourself. I'm going to uh, just go out into the free world. Have fun. Interesting. Oh, hello. Oh, I forgot the dodge system. It's been so long since I've played, I kind of forgot the whole uh, system of attacking and everything. Like, I kind of forgot... Uh, you know, you, you know, you don't play a game for a while, you kind of forget its little mechanics and things. Forgot there was the whole mechanics of uh, the systems and activate the pinnons. Activate. Cool little... Look how wrinkled my hand is. Maybe I turned the age up too much. Look at that. He's been through some stuff. Wait for the exchange. Simple enough. Simple enough. Ooh, there she goes. Here he comes. You must be important, fella. You all right? You all right? Freedom. You look a little haggard. Thank all the divines. Thank the divines you are safe. There is that, at least. Lyra sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Okay. We can't take her with us. Vestige. That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self. Um... I just skipped through the rest. Yeah, it's over there. I was I thought I was supposed to follow him for a second. I was like, why is he just being crazy? Bye, Lyris. Thank you for being my guide. It's always important. Remember, kids, you gotta thank the people who help you out. It's always important. Thank yous and pleases, you know? Manners are so important. An underrated part of society these days. Manners are so important. Get to the anchor base. Okay. Okay. Defeat the child of bones. Gosh. Pick one thing for me to do, am I right? <laughs> is that what I'm is that what I'm fighting? That thing looks awesome. Soon your world will be in my chains. What is happening? Oh, here he is. Kind of easy, isn't he? It's a tutorial. I'm sitting here like, oh man, is this going to take more than one attempt? No. Of course it's not. This guy's a joke. Look at him. Look at him. He's crazy looking. He's all... He's like multiple rib cages. You know what I mean? He's like made of rib cages. Is that the idea? Let's search him. Some gold, some collar of bones. All very well and good. Talk to the prophets. 
Where you go? Why you just stand still, man? Just chill. Okay. Uh, the dark anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. First, you must reattune yourself to Nern in order to regain your physical form. You will need a sky shard. A soul of, uh, yeah, yeah, something, something, something. I'm ready. Let's roll. Collect the sky shard, which is straight ahead. Cool. Which is where? Uh. Okay. It's all very confusing. Maybe I should have read a little bit more, but. Uh, for every three Sky Shards right, I remember you collect these as you go around and whatnot. Wait for the Prophet. Okay, let's enjoy a pretty cool animation. This is like the largest chandelier I've ever seen. What are these chains doing? That's what I would wonder. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that lighting though. Shashami. Use the rift to escape. You got it. Oh, it won't let me look around. It's alright. Well, I believe that's the end of the tutorial. I believe that's the end of the tutorial. Oh, maybe I'm incorrect. Maybe I am correct. We will find out shortly. I gotta say, though, I... I I've said it a million times, this. I'm just excited. I'm excited. I'll probably be streaming... A lot of this, uh, more so than making video. I'm not sure how to make videos on this game. You know, I could do a quest in a video and chop it up, or, you know, if there's cool things, like maybe a dungeon run, but I'm not entirely sure how to do uh, video, so I'll probably be streaming it quite a bit, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Let's talk to the Prophet. As I feared, we arrived at different locations. I'm in a place with the smell of burning ash on a hot wind. How long was I unconscious? Days, weeks, I cannot tell. Okay. It's a complete quest. Goodbye. Very cool. Let's check out. Uh, do I have anything? I have some inventory stuff. We got some supply. The sealed urn. The rusty urn originated. Huh. Okay. Um, do I get any cool weapons? I do have some weapons. Is this better? No. All right. Uh, let's do a quick level up here. Let's go. Let's go stamina. And, um, hmm, we should probably get a skill, right? Hmm, I guess destruction, staff, force, shock, force is all, yeah, let's do that. And it's on Y, awesome. So, anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you for watching. We'll talk to Captain Reyna real fast. I'm glad you're up. I could use your help. A fisherman found you washed up on the beach. Wow. This guy brings me out of a prison and throws me into the water? When I was unconscious? I could have died. Unbelievable. You want to speak with me? Yes. Uh, I'm supposed to warn villagers. Right. Where should I start looking? Got it. Um, so yeah, I remember I'm supposed to go consult with different villagers. Um, but anyway... Thank you guys for watching episode zero. I call it episode zero because it's the tutorial and the character creation. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this and I hope you're excited for the series. I'm really excited. Let me know what you guys want to see in Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, should I do quests or whatnot? I'm not really sure. But anyway, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know if you guys play down below and what you want to see in the comments. I'm curious to see how many of you guys play this game. And if you're on Xbox, hit me up. We'll do some dungeons or something. Uh, and subscribe for more of this and more of everything and all that good jazz. And I will see you guys later. A ciao!